Uh, okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Wang Yun, and uh, I'm, I'm read at my first year of my PhD uh, in Beijing University of Posts and Telecommunications. Uh, I'm very honored to give this presentation on behalf of my supervisor, uh, Professor Jian Guoyu. Uh, the topic of my speech is uh, Unitarian Carrier Photo Detector in the terahertz frequency band. Uh, I will give my presentation about UTCPD from uh, these four aspects. Uh, the back, okay, the background. Uh, with the uh, development of markets such as uh, the Internet of Things, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and uh, uh, the advent of the sixth uh, era, uh, achieving higher speed and larger capacity transmission and communication uh, is a research hotspot and a goal in the future. Uh, and nowadays, ultra high speed and ultra large capacity optical fiber communication has become a modern communication technology. Uh, UTCPD. Uh, is a hot spot in uh, a key technology of sixth generation communication. Uh, Unit traveling carrier photo detectors, uh, it adopts distributed design on the basis of traditional PM photo detectors, break through the limitations of traditional photo detectors with faster response speed and larger saturated output current. It's a high performance photoelectric detector. Its excellent performance can meet the requirements of ultra high speed optical fiber communication and terahertz communication systems. Our lab has undertaken a major instrument project of the National Natural Science Foundation of China, a photon vector terahertz signal source and analyzer. Uh, the unit traveling carrier photo detector is one of the core optoelectronic devices for photo generated terahertz communication. Uh, the current research uh, mainly focuses on two aspects. One is improved performance, uh, performance indicators such as uh, device bandwidth and output power characteristics. Uh, and uh, the second one is research on the application of devices in optical communication and terahertz communication systems. The first aspect is mainly carried out through theoretical research and experimental production. This table, this table summarizes the UTCPD parameter, parameters produced by NTT laboratory in the past years. It can be seen from the table that the area of the active region and the thickness of the absorption layer uh, are important factors of device bandwidth. Uh, this picture is a back-to-back -back structure, and uh, uh, this picture is a mushroom mass structure. Uh, they, these, two, uh, this, they, these two kinds of structure can uh, effectively improve device performance. Uh, in the past five years, the application of unit traveling carrier photo detector in broadband optical communication and terahertz communication system has been studied from the aspects of integrated antenna rays, uh, waveguide coupling package. Uh, uh, Fudan University has also used UTCPD to realize 325 gigahertz wireless communication transmission. A study found that in terahertz applications, bandwidth and the saturation output power are two critical properties. Uh, in this part, I will introduce uh, some uh, the principle of UTCPD. Mm, first, uh, a brief introduction to UTCPD is given. UTCPD uh, is only relying on electrons as on active carrier and has a rapid response and high saturation power. It can be seen from the energy band diagram 
that in UTCPD absorption layer excites a uh, photo generated host and uh, electrons, and the host uh, transit to the anoid under the motivation of the electric field and the concentration. And the electrons is blocked by the diffusion uh, barrier layer and can only cross to the cathode. Uh, thus, uh, in UTCPD, only electrons need to be considered as active carriers to generate a response. And the, uh, the influence of holes is ignored compared with PNPD. Uh, PNPD use two types of carriers to generate a response. Uh, so UTCPD has a faster response speed. Uh, in addition, under high light injection, the energy band in the depletion region is deformed, resulting in a space charge effect. Uh, while the space charge of UTC is only composed of electrons, uh, whose speed is much higher than that of holes. So it, it has wider linearity and higher saturation output current. Uh, generally, the performance of UTCPD is mirrored by three decibel bandwidth responsivity and the saturation current. The performance of the device can be obtained by simulating the alternating current small signal characteristics and the direct current characteristics of the device. It's known through uh, theoretical research that shortening the carrier electrons in the device transient time is the key to improving bandwidth. And reducing the space charge effect is a key to increasing saturation current. Uh, next, I will introduce the design and simulation of UTCPD. Uh, UTCPD has many kinds of structures. The classic one is the vertical illumination, illuminated structure. It includes back illuminated and front, front illuminated. The instant light uh, of the uh, vertical illuminated uh, detector is parallel to the carrier transport uh, direction in the detector. And the optical fiber is aligned with the upper surface of the detector when coupling. Uh, the advantage of this structure is that the coupling efficiency is high. Uh, it can be as high as 100%. The disadvantage of this type of structure is that there is a contradiction between response velocity and responsivity. Uh, they cannot be taken into account at the same time. Uh, another structure is the side illuminated structure where the instant light uh, in UTCPD is perpendicular to the transport direction of photo generated carriers. It can solve the problem of incompatibility between response velocity and responsivity. In order to increase the speed of the device, a thin absorption layer can be used and uh, uh, the instant light can be gradually absorbed while propagating. The structure is divided into set coupling type and uh, evanescent wave coupling type. Mm. The side coupling type is uh, uh, the light uh, directly illuminates the absorption layer from one side. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, evanescent waveguide uh, structure uh, is that the passive waveguide is integrated in the evanescent wave coupling UTC-PD. So the signal light enters the PD from the passive waveguide and is gradually coupled to the absorption layer. Uh, in the entire absorption length, the absorption value is uh, relatively uniform, so it's easier to simultaneously realize the characteristics of high response, high uh, response bandwidth, high responsivity, and high saturated output power with a certain active uh, region length. But this kind of edge illuminated UCPD um, is uh, have a disadvantage. Uh, the disadvantage is uh, low coupling efficiency. Uh, there are also some other methods to increase power in a specific frequency range. For example, uh, NTT integrates a resonant impedance matching circuit 
uh, at the output of UTCPD to get high power in F band uh, with a center frequency of 120 gigahertz. by optimizing the coplanar waveguide structure. Uh, the simulation uh, of, of my research is completed using Svaco TCAD software. It can perform a uh, transient simulation of the photoelectric characteristics of the device uh, based on the combination of physical model and the numerical calculation methods. The physical equations in the models uh, are based on mature physical theories or empirical formulas. Um, so uh, this, this is the FTX layer structure of, of my, my structure of UTCPD. Uh, in order to ensure good optical coupling, so my structure adopts back illuminated structure. Mm, and the light with a wavelength of 1.55 microns is used for irradiation. The photon energy of 1.55 microns is uh, 0.8 uh, electric uh, volts. And the collection layer used uh, indium phosphide with a band gap energy of 1.35 electronic volts. This material can transparently transmit light with a wavelength of uh, 1.5 microns. And uh, the absorption layer, we adopt uh, indium arsenide, uh, gallium, gallium arsenide material. Um, uh, this material uh, has relatively high electron mobility. Uh, and uh, due to the large difference in band gap energy between uh, absorption layer and the uh, collection layer, uh, we adopt a uh, continuary compound uh, uh, indium gallium arsenide phosphide uh, as band, band smooth. Uh, this kind of material can flexibly adjust the band gap width by changing the composition of uh, gallium and the arsenide and achieve latest, uh, latest matching with a giant materials. At the same time, uh, this material can also be used as a material of uh, diffusion barrier. Mm. Uh, so uh, the, the optimization of the uh, absorption layer includes the op optimization of the thickness and the doping methods. Uh, the simulation curve of the three decibel, decibel bandwidth and the responsivity of the device uh, with the thickness of the absorption layer is shown in, in the left figure. It's found from the simulation that uh, with the increase of the thickness uh, of the absorption layer, the bandwidth of the device increases. Uh, it changes inversely with the responsivity. The bandwidth decreases and the, the responsivity increases. So for obtaining the highest possible bandwidth and ensure a reasonable responsivity, we choose the thickness of the absorption layer to be 220 nanometer. The figure on the right shows the three decibel uh, bandwidth simulation of the device under different doping distributions. Through this simulation, optimal in uh, initial concentration and, and uh, concentration of linear doping are determined and the optimal bandwidth is obtained. Uh, simulate the uh, internal electric field of UTCPD under its doping concentration distribution. It can be seen that the introduction of linear doping generates a built-in electric field in the absorption layer. It can accelerate the drift of uh, electrons to improve the device uh, performance. Uh, when optimizing the collection layer, the layer thickness is also uh, optimized. Uh, the thickness of the collection layer affects 
uh, the transient time of electrons and equivalent capacitance of the device. 200 nanometer is selected as a, uh, as the thickness of, of this. And the linear doping is also introduced into, into this. Mm, the left figure shows the uh, bandwidth performance of the device under different doping distributions. Uh, it can be seen from the simulation results that uh, appropriate linear doping can improve the device bandwidth. From the internal electric field distribution of the device on the right, it can be seen that linear doping reduces the electric field in the collection layer so that electrons can more easily reach the overshoot speed. Uh, to improve the high speed performance of the device. Uh, the bandwidth of UTCPD devices uh, with uniform doping, Gaussian doping, and the linear doping distribution are simulated respectively. And it, can, it can be found that the bandwidth of traditional UTCPD with uniform doping is uh, 55 gigahertz, uh, and the bandwidth with the Gaussian doping is 91 gigahertz. Uh, with linear doping has a bandwidth of 150-15 gigahertz. Uh, it's twice than the bandwidth of uniform doping. Uh, a highly doped cliff layer is added to the spacer layer. Uh, the cliff layer can introduce a high electric field in the hydrojunction so that electrons have a greater migration speed pass through the a uh, barrier region faster, avoid accumulation, and uh, help in the collection, uh, help in the collection. Uh, the overshoot velocity is generated in the layer. Uh, thickness and doping concentration of this layer are optimized by, comp comp by comparing the uh, vertical and horizontal simulation results. The optimal, optimal thickness and uh, doping concentration of the cliff layer are uh, determined to be 30 nanometer, uh, 30 nanometer. At this time, the device bandwidth can be obtained a uh, big boost. Um, from the energy band structure of UTCPD before and after improvement, it can be seen that the, the addition of linear doping makes the energy band of the absorption layer band in advance. Uh, it will accelerate the transition of electrons uh, and uh, the improved energy band of the transition layer is smoother. Uh, it uh, will uh, effectively reduce the ac accumulation. Uh, by simulating the direct current characteristics of UTCPD, we found that both highlight High, light, high incident light intensity and a large reverse bias voltage can lead to a, a larger saturated up current. However, the macroscopic characteristics inside the device are different under low bias and high bias. Um, the internal electron concentration, hole concentration and current density of UTCPD under low light intensity were simulated. From, from this, we can see the characteristics of UTCPD UTC carrier uh, unidirectional transport. In addition, at low light intensity, the carrier concentration increases linearly with the increase of instant light intensity. While under high light intensity injection, the operating characteristics of the uh, device will change. Uh, by simulating the internal characteristics of the device, uh, it can be seen that under high light intensity, uh, the concentration of photogenerated carriers will gradually become saturated and no longer increase with the increase of light intensity. The reason is the same as that of saturation current. In addition, uh, high light intensity can affect the high speed performance of the device. Mm, through simulation, uh, it's found that the bandwidth of the device will first increase and then decrease uh, with the increase of DC light intensity. And the bandwidth will drop 
sharply as the light intensity increases. Therefore, selecting the appropriate instant light intensity and improving the high power performance of the device are also uh, something that we need to consider when we uh, designing the when we are designing the device. Uh, the three decibel bandwidth of the improved UTCPD structure simulated under the device bandwidth can reach 146 gigahertz, and the saturation current can reach 348 milli, milli, milliampere, achieving broadband high saturation performance. Uh, okay. In order to further improve the bandwidth, a uh, new double clip layer hourglass UTCPD is pro proposed. Uh, this structure improves the uh, three decibel bandwidth of the device while maintaining the responsivity and achieves high saturation of the performance. In this structure, um, uh, a double clip layer uh, was adopted. The electric field of the absorption layer is improved. Electrons are accelerated through the absorption layer effectively surprising the Kirk effect in the heterojunction uh, and the hourglass structure was adopted, it can effectively overcome the Uh, through the simulation, uh, through the simulation of the energy band structure and the internal electric field distribution of the double clip hourglass structure, it can be seen that compared with the single layer, uh, the double layer structure makes the energy band structure um, um, smoother and the potential drop is larger. Uh, facilitate the transition of electrons from the perspective of electric field distribution. The double clip layer structure generates a larger average electric field in the um, spacer layer and it generates a larger electron potential drop in the spacer layer. It will re reduce the accumulation of electrons in the spacer layer and generate overshoot speed, faster drift to the collection layer thereby increasing bandwidth and saturation current. Uh, the hourglass-shaped design uh, is improved on the basis of the mushroom-shaped table top, uh, which effectively avoids the space charge effect caused by the suspended part of the absorption layer and reduce the difficulty of the process uh, through the simulation of the frequency response of the device uh, under different absorption la layer radius, it's found that the bandwidth can be effectively improved by appropriately reducing the absorption layer radius. And the optimal absorption layer radius is determined to be 1.3 uh, microns. Uh, the three decibel bandwidth of the uh, single clip uh, traditional UTCPD and the double clip hourglass UTCPD is simulated and uh, it's found that the double clip hourglass design can effectively improve the bandwidth and the final device reach, reaches a sub terahertz uh, bandwidth of 223 gigahertz. It was found that the structure can achieve the best performance under two volts reverse bias and can still achieve high bandwidth of 200 gigahertz under zero bandwidth, uh, under zero bias. Um, the double clip hourglass UTCPD can achieve a high bandwidth of 223 gigahertz and a high saturation of current of 243 milliampere. Milli milli Compared with the traditional single clip UTCPD, its bandwidth saturation current product has increased by 6.5% without sacrificing response speed. 
uh, in addition to the to double cliff layer optimization method, a buffer layer with a gradient change in material composition can also be introduced between the absorption layer and the collection layer so that electrons can travel from the absorption layer to the collection layer faster and without uh, hindrance. Uh, so this is a new structure. Uh, uh, figure A and uh, B are the band diagram and the electric field distribution uh, of, of, uh, of this structure. Um, when the absorption layer adopts only uniform doping or, uh, and uh, the uh, absorption layer adopts partially linear doping, um, it can be seen that uh, the addition of linear doping makes the energy band of the uh, of the absorption layer bend in advance, um, uh, which uh, it uh, accelerate accelerate the trans transition with electrons and uh, improved energy band of the uh, tra transition layer is smoother. It will effectively reduce the accumulation. Uh, in addition, the energy band of the collection layer is flat. Uh, which is conductive to the passage of electrons and the generation of overshoot speed. And the improved structure generates a higher electric field intensity in the absorption layer. Uh, it can reduce the accumulation of electrons in the absorption layer and generate an overshoot speed and uh, drift to the collection layer faster, uh, thereby uh, increasing the bandwidth and the saturation current. Uh, through calculation, uh, uh, can, uh, case, uh, it can be seen that the corresponding bandwidth is 230 gigahertz, 267, 288 gigahertz, respectively. Uh, the simulation results show that partially linear doping improves the bandwidth by 40 gigahertz compared to, compared to uniform doping. And the band smooth layer with graded band gap increases the bandwidth further by 15 gigahertz, uh, which shows that the linear, dopey, linear doped absorption layer and the graded band gap uh, band smooth layer can effectively improve the three decibel bandwidth of the device. And then this, this kind of modified HCPD can reach a high saturation of current of 120 uh, milliampere under the condition of input, input light intensity of this. And the responsivity is uh, 0 0.07 ampere per watt. Uh, the next, uh, the, the final part, I will introduce the uh, uh, applications of terahertz communication. Um, a typical application scenario of terahertz wave communication is shown in the figure. The picture shows 5G cellular network. Terahertz communication can be used for next generation small base, small base stations, uh, which can be used as part of hierarchical cellular network or heterogeneous network. Terahertz waves used in small base stations can provide ultra high speed data communication, which can be used for ultra high definition multimedia and the smartphone communication and ultra high definition video conference indoors and outdoors. Uh, figure B is a terabit wireless local area network. And uh, figure C is a personal area network. And figure D shows terabit secure wireless communication. Terahertz waves can be used for ultra wideband secure communication in the military field due to the high transmission loss of terahertz waves in the atmosphere. Larger antennas areas are really used to overcome the limitation of transmission distance, thus forming extremely narrow beams, uh, which greatly limits the possibility of being um, dropped. Uh, in addition, terahertz waves can also form wireless communication links between nanoscale device devices, uh, extremely small functional devices enable simple tasks at the nanoscale, such as computing, data storage, uh, uh, and worth sensing. Uh, each part of the nano device is about hundreds of cubic nanometers. 
and the size of the whole nano device is about tens of cubic millimeters. Mm. Uh, in this uh, A is a healthcare monitoring system, and B is a nanoscale internet, and C is an ultra high speed on chip communication. Uh, this picture shows the physical picture of the laser or uh, rare blade. And picture B and C are all terahertz imaging pictures. And the first picture is obviously, obviously clear, clearer than the second picture because um, picture B adopts UTCPD. Uh, uh, UTCPD converts the optical noise into electric, electrical noise and then radiates it through the antenna. So the obtained terahertz source con contains terahertz waves of different frequency. Uh, such a light source does not interfere and the resulting image is very clear. Uh, so oh, that's all of my uh, presentation. Thank you for your listening. Thank you, Mrs. Moore, for your presentation.